Okay, I have a few things to add. So there's something I wanted to clarify. And then there was something else I wanted to comment, which would be appropriate for these annoying situation videos. Uh, one, one of the uh, things that was annoying, though, was uh, that um, yesterday I got some physical damage to my body. So I would call that annoying. So previously I mentioned that I was not correct in uh, remembering the the uh, price it, it was to become a member of this co-op. I was saying it was $250, but actually it was it was not that much because I found the receipt from when I from when I uh, paid for the for the membership and then I ripped it up because I was irritated about it but then today I was thinking how long was I actually a member of this co-op because I was I was going to this uh, co-op grocery store for about 10 years but I wasn't a member of the co-op that whole time. So, so I was thinking, um, I think I remembered that I wrote down when I became a member in my checkbook. So I have my, my checkbook here. All right. So I became a member of this co-op June 1st, 2019. June 1st, 2019, and it cost $125. $125 to be a member of that co op. And my membership ended at this co-op on the 20 on the 25th so today's the 27th today's the 27th of may 2021 but my membership ended at this co-op on the 25th of may 2021 so that's when that's when the manager at the co-op gave me this form to sign that requested uh, uh, my the fee that I paid to be refunded. The fee, the membership fee, to be refunded. That was when I signed the form. So that was a couple days ago. So that's how long I was a member of the co-op. And then the other thing I was going to say was how I was physically damaged it happened yesterday. So on the 25th, a couple days ago, after the manager told me I was not wanted on the property anymore because of the videos I was making about my negative experience with their business. Um, so that day on the 25th, a couple days ago, uh, I left, I, I stopped using the internet sooner than I was planning on. So I don't remember exactly if it was like uh, 45 minutes or an hour half an hour, something like that, around that time period. I left the co-op after being stressed out and signing that, that form at the co-op, and then I went to the library. Sat down on the bench over there, 
outside the building to use the internet. At one point, someone came out of the building of the library and they set up a table, which I thought was strange, but then someone else sat down at the table and and then another person sat down at the table and they were they were doing like a tarot tarot card reading. I did that a couple times. I just it just seems kind of silly. Long time ago, that's what I did that a long time ago. The first time I had a tarot card reading was um, back around when I was, it was the late 90s, so around the time when I graduated high school, I think. I graduated, graduated high school in 1997. So it was my friend's sister did the tarot card reading for me. And then I had... Uh, one of my ex-girlfriends, she wasn't an ex-girlfriend at the time, but she did a tarot card reading for me. The one thing I, the one thing I remember about that one, though, is she told me in the tarot card reading that I was going to get some more debt. That I'm going to have some more debt, which I think thought was kind of kind of funny considering a big part of the reason why I had the debt was because this girlfriend was living with me and she she had a job at one time but then she quit her job so I was paying for all of her food uh, her cigarettes and her her uh, her pop her soda pop so I don't drink I don't I don't drink the uh, I think she was drinking Diet Coke. I don't I don't drink that. I wasn't drinking it at the time. And I don't smoke, so those are a couple things that I wouldn't have been buying. So I was getting those just for her. And then I was getting twice as much groceries to uh, to have for her. So she wasn't paying for these things at all. So it's interesting that she's giving me a tarot card reading as if it's some kind of prof prophetic prophecy type thing. Oh yeah, you're gonna get some more debt. Gee, I wonder why I got some more debt. So that's my experience with tarot card readings. Um, okay, so, um, so Thursday, a couple days ago, no, not Thursday, today's Thursday, a couple days ago was Tuesday, alright, so a couple days ago, when I was at the library for, like, maybe 45 minutes, I think, or half an hour, maybe? Maybe 45 minutes, I don't remember. Not too long. I'm on the bench over there. And it was getting a little warmer out. 
I had my hoodie. Yeah, and I, I yeah, I took my hoodie off, so there was I didn't have any uh, physical damage to my body that day. So I took the hoodie off, and I sat down on the bench and uh, had my laptop. So it was nice to sit down rather than stand holding a laptop for hours. So that was nice. Although the sun was glaring on the on the laptop, where I I had to keep kind of turning it, and and it was hard to see what I was looking at on the laptop. And I'm like moving the thing around here and, and on the on the laptop trying to find the cursor. So that's annoying. And then today, and then yesterday was the same thing. The the glare, like I couldn't couldn't find the cursor. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad at the library other than that. Um, The um, the uh, the si the the speed of the uploading for for internet over there was definitely uh, not as good. So the the uploading for YouTube for the internet um, uh, on that one side of the building where there's no tables, the the videos were uploading in about five minutes. But then at the library, um, the uploads for the same length of video was taking 20 minutes, so a huge difference. So definitely would, would prefer to have the faster uploading, which the only place I know of is at this one side of the building at the co-op where there's no tables, which I'm no longer allowed to. I'm no longer allowed to be there. I'm not wanted on the property. <laughs>